This is a Squiz Kids podcast. Your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. Each week we give the World Globe a spin and see where we land. Then we take the kids of Australia on an audio excursion to visit that country and its people. I'm Christy Kidgerina and today on Squiz the World, we're visiting a country that's our closest neighbour was once an Australian territory and is totally mad about rugby league. Can you guess where we're going? Strap yourselves in to the Squiz Kids super fast supersonic jetliner as we take off and take a squiz at Papua New Guinea. Just the facts. Not too much more than a stone's throw away, Papua New Guinea is Australia's closest neighbour. The closest distance from the Australian mainland to PNG is only 150 kilometres. That'd be less than a two-hour car drive, if there was a motorway connecting us. And our closest islands are only five kilometres apart. Papua New Guinea occupies the eastern part of the island of New Guinea, as well as more than 600 smaller islands. Remember we've spoken before about tectonic plates? Well, PNG sits right on the joining tectonic plates known as the Ring of Fire. So earthquakes are a frequent occurrence and there are at least 15 active volcanoes. All that volcanic activity does wonders for the soil of Papua New Guinea. They're super rich in nutrients and the tropical climate means the plants and animals can flourish. More than 80% of the country is covered in rainforest, hosting a, get this, a jaw-dropping 5% of the whole world's biodiversity. Talk about nature's treasure chest. Now a quick history break. PNG has been under the flag of three different nations since 1883, including a more than 60 year stint under Australia's control. But in 1975, they broke free, waving their independence flag high and joining the Commonwealth, which means that their head of state is King Charles as well. During World War II, PNG was on the front lines, bravely aiding the Allies against a Japanese invasion. Despite being under-equipped, the spirit of courage of the Papua New Guineans shone through, earning them angelic status amongst Australian soldiers. And fast forward to today, PNG is a vibrant mosaic of cultures, languages and traditions, with people deeply connected to their clan or one talk, meaning one talk. The people who share the same land, the same family connections, culture and traditions. Learn the lingo. Believe it or not, there are more than 800 different languages spoken in PNG, the most of any country on earth. So how do people communicate? Well, there are three official languages. English, Tok Bisen, which is also called Pidgin or Creole, and Hirimotu, which is spoken in specific regions. Today, we've got a special guest, Dre, ready to give us a crash course in Pidgin. Take it away, Dre. Hi, my name is Dre. I'm 12 years old and I live in Port Mosby. I speak English and Pidgin. Here's how you say, hello, how are you? Good play day. You pella stop, all right? And this is how you say, I am Dre. I'm 12 years old and I love rugby. Name blue me, Andre. Me, 12 plus Christmas, na me, sa like him rugby. Thank you so much, Dre. We're going to have to say goodbye. And here's how you say thank you and goodbye. Thank you, na look him you. With our new pigeon skills, we're one step closer to making friends in PNG. Now that we can communicate a little bit, it's... Time for school. 
School's in, and in PNG, the classrooms have been filling up over the past decade. Over three quarters of kids aged 6 to 18 now hit the books, especially in the urban areas. Yet in more remote areas, getting to school can be a trek and kids might stay at home to help with family chores. 1995 was a game changer with a bilingual education kickoff, mixing local lingo and English in lessons at school. Plus, schooling went fee-free in 2022, making pencils and books much more accessible. The setup mirrors Australia's from primary to secondary school. And guess what? Rugby League is the recess favourite. Let's get cultural. Sports, especially rugby league, are huge in PNG. It's not just a game, it's a legacy, easing old clan rivalries with friendly competition. PM Anthony Albanese scored major points in 2023, supporting PNG's dream for an NRL team just like the New Zealand Warriors. PNG's cultural tapestry is rich and diverse. While strides are still being made towards gender equality, some communities honour matrilineal traditions, meaning that land and possessions are passed down on the female side of the family. And when women are married, they can stay with their own group rather than moving to their husband's family, emphasising women's roles in heritage and home. It's a fascinating blend of the past and present, shaping a totally unique societal fabric. Enough cultural chat, I'm starving. I think it might be... Dinner time. Are you feeling peckish? Being the tropical paradise that it is, Papua New Guinea is rich in tropical fruits and its staple foods are root vegetables like sweet potato, karuka nuts and rice. Although many people eat largely vegetarian meals, meat's also on the menu, but pork takes the spotlight for festivities. Ever heard of moo moo? It's not just fun to say, it's an ancient cooking style using earth ovens, that's a hole dug in the ground, for that slow cooked perfection. Remember though, manners matter. Hold off on asking for seconds because that can be considered rude. What? If you're craving a taste sensation now, check out the episode notes for a recipe mixing pineapple and hearty sweet potatoes, a tropical twist on dinner and dessert. Time for the quiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one, how many kilometres is Papua New Guinea from the Australian mainland? That's right, it's only 150 kilometres away. Question number two. What percentage of Papua New Guinea is covered by rainforest? Is it A, 50%, B, 65% or C, 80%? Nice work if you remembered it's C, 80%. Question number three, which root vegetable is a staple food in Papua New Guinea? And I'll give you a hint, it looks kind of orange. Well done if you said sweet potatoes. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for staying curious about the world and joining me on this incredible trip to Papua New Guinea. Now get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out.